Now, one of the big problems with learning about golf is there are so many angles involved. You're down one, you're down bent over at an angle, you turn at an angle, when you're at the top of your swing, you're at these weird angles. And when you look at everything at an angle, everything looks weird. Even these uh, software programs, or even this photography that follows the club head on the back swing and the down swing, you get it, you get these weird arcs because it's all being photographed at an angle, and an angle that's changing. I mean, you're changing your angle as you go back. The downswing, you're changing your angle as you come down. If you take the angles out of your golf swing, it's much easier to understand what's going on. You just, and you do that by standing up straight and then performing the motion. I mean, that's easy to understand. What your arms are doing in the golf swing, in that motion, what the club's doing in that motion, that's easy to understand when you're standing up straight. They just swing back and go down. Well, that's what happens to your arms in the golf swing. But once you take the angles out, it's easy to understand. That's why I teach a lot of the golf swing standing straight up I take the angles out. You remove the angles, you remove the barrier to learning to what's really going on.